Good afternoon.
Um, Miss Hargrave, do you want me to continue what I'm doing, or do you want me to wait? Oh, hold on a minute, baby girl. I didn't even hear what you said. Hold on. All right, hold on one moment, sweetie. Uh, all right, everybody turn the cameras on. I had some technical difficulties. I could not log in. Hey, Elijah. Elijah, I got to uh, ask you a question. I could not log on to my with my uh, MacBook, so I had to log on with the desktop. The desktop does not, uh, you can't hear me. Uh, so, uh, I get, anyway, I'm finally on. I'm finally on. So, welcome, 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 everybody. Hold on, Miss Weeks. I'm gonna get back to you in just a moment. Beautiful Elijah, tell me what you're asking me. Are you driving or are you riding? I just parked. Good. <laughs> you drive, Elijah. You drive. Yes, ma'am. Oh my, oh my. How long you been driving? For like since like August. Okay. Are you a good driver? He cannot drive. Hey, yes, he cannot drive. Uh oh, he cannot, he cannot drive. Well, you you better you better learn how to drive. You better focus. All right, Elijah. What were you asking me? So so are you saying that you have not received your grade never, vocabulary? No, I, I have not got the vocab. Like uh, I remember, I asked you like a long time ago, but I haven't got the vocab. Okay. Like the words, like the, no works. I haven't got got that. And, you haven't got um, the words. You haven't got the words. No, man. Okay, but you did the meet and greet. You did the meet and greet, right? I, got, I still got that in my. Um, slides, but I don't know how to send it to you. I've been did that though. But did you didn't you present your meet and greet or no? Uh, I, I presented it at the beginning though. It was like a long time ago. Okay, okay, all right. So what I thought I gave you a school. I don't know. Okay, so meet and greet. I need to get put a grade in there. Or did I not give you a grade for the meet and greet? No, you didn't give me a grade for the meet and greet. Okay, right, and you need to know how to. Do you remember getting a folder for me? And the folder has three folders inside of that. One says homework, projects, and vocabulary. Do you remember getting a folder from me? Uh, um, was that like the first like three weeks? Email the first three weeks. I was. It was a couple. It's been a while ago. I tell you what. When you get home, I don't, if it's at night or whenever, or even if it's tomorrow, just email me again. That way we can go. I'll be able to show you what I'm talking about. Um, but I will give you credit for the meet and greet. But I, I want you to put it in your project folder i i will send you if it's i'll send you the vocabulary and i will give you time to get that done i'll send you the vocabulary let me see send elijah okay so i will get that to you i'll get it to you just uh when you get home like i say if it's the evening tonight or even if we have to meet tomorrow again just uh hit me up say miss hargrave we need to meet so you can show me how to put the stuff in the folder and blase blase okay if there is anybody else, uh, guys, they are doing stuff with the power school. So you may not, you probably had a grade in and you may not have a grade in now. I'm going to go back. Uh, I'll try to start doing it tonight um, and going back and look because what they're doing for the ones who are coming back to school, they have put you in a new category. And when they put you in that new category, it wiped out your grades. So that means that I have to go back and pull up those grades. So, um, just give me some time. If you know, if you say, if you um, notice that your grades aren't there, just send me an email. So, Miss Hargrave, my grades are gone. I am still updating. Yes, sometimes it takes me a long time, um, but I will get your grades updated. If you, uh, Elijah, I know you're on the road now, so I'm not sure if anybody um, who has not, with a show of hands, not just raise your little thing. Raise your hand if you have not got set up with Jasper Active. Okay, so Cassie, I know you. Okay, uh, okay. So what we're going to do, everybody? Um. Oh, you know what, uh, Victoria? Victoria, do me a favor because you are now set up with Word. I want you to go and do the same thing with PowerPoint. Go click on the PowerPoint icon. See when it opens up. If you, uh, it'll probably say, um, um, "Open a new PowerPoint slide or present whatever it says." Oh, do it like you did Word, and see how far it lets you. Because I asked the guy today, "Did we have to do anything different?" He said it should do the same for 
uh, PowerPoint. Or let me ask you this. When you go into where you go to do your exercises, did it say anything about PowerPoint on there? Or did it just only list Word? Or do um, you, if you don't remember, go back to where you log in with Jasper Active and see if it has those icons on there. Okay. Okay. All right. So for everybody else, if you have, if you are logged on to office.com, everybody should see icons on the left side. You should see, um, let me see, let me see where we at. Uh, William, did you get set up? You got set up. You know what, William? You are in another class. And I don't know how they have you. Hold on. Because I know it's that day, William, you are in second period. And let me see if I can get you into fourth period. Uh, hold on. Y'all give me a minute. I'm going to see if I can take William out of second period and put him into first period. I mean, take him out of second period and put him in the fourth period. So hold on. Miss Hargrave. Yes, love. I don't know what you're talking about. What you mean? Okay, do you see the icon when you go in? You remember when we went to office.com? You know, there was Word and Excel, PowerPoint on the left side. Mm hmm. Do you see the PowerPoint icon? Uh huh. Okay, when you go to PowerPoint, what happens? Okay, when you go to PowerPoint, okay. One thing I was asking, you remember how you went back in and with Jasper acting, you see where it says benchmark, word, word, uh, lesson, um, what was it, lesson, activity, what was it, lessons, after, after the benchmark, it said lessons, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, and those were all for word. When you scroll down a little bit further on that same thing, did it say anything about PowerPoint? Uh, I don't know. Is so. just showing all the word stuff, all the stuff for word, because you're gonna have to activate PowerPoint, and I think you activate PowerPoint the same way we did Word, where you go and click on the PowerPoint icon, then open up a new uh, slide. I'm gonna have you to do that in a minute because you've gone so far. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to take William. Somehow I got into second period. He should be in fourth period. I'm coming back, y'all, babies. It's just a lot of work. Um, and Victoria, another student had that same same problem you had on that lesson. And so well, we show them how to do it. Yeah, I, well, she was in second period, so I showed her. And then she she was like, when well, you know, when you looked at the next part where you had to look at that video, she was like, Okay, well, where's the exercise at? And it popped up and, and I said, I said, You see the directions, you got I said that document. Is what is is where you you know your directions go with that document. She's like, oh okay, but she had to go back and do that thing too because she kept getting that score too. But we figured it out. But I bet you you gonna have to help this class with the activity. Um, give me a minute, guys. Hold on, ladies. <sighs> oh. We are in fourth period. I'll go out on for a period of meeting. Oops. 
So what you were saying was you want to be up um PowerPoint to um Jasper Active? Yes, I want you to be able go ahead and share your screen. Let's see what it looks like. Because you want to be able to activate that as well. Okay. Okay. All right, watch this. All right, guys. Everybody else just hold on because I want to see something with this because you're gonna have to activate Word and PowerPoint. But Right now, it looks like you only have uh, Word activated, and you won't be able to get to. The other part, if you don't. Do All right, I'm still here. It's just a lot of stuff to do, Lord. Can you see my screen? It's coming up. It says that you are presenting, but I don't. That's the only thing I see. I need to see if you can activate. And it's slow. Everything's slow. Okay. All right. So where you have... Okay, it's coming. it popped up and then it went away. Okay. Okay. But that's just go back to the home screen where it shows you those icons because you need to go. It's not giving you the lessons. I got to see. And I might have to. We may have to meet with Keith. OK, so you see right there. You got OK. Go where it says you're going to have to activate go right there. And maybe that was me. Go right here again. New black presentation. Right here. Yeah. New black presentation. I was just doing nothing. Yeah, click on any may just be with me. I made my I, I done, done so much down with right there. Okay, and then it should come up. I want to hopefully it would do the same way as we did Word. You should be able to when it pops up, if it pops up, the insert. I want you to do the insert the same way. But it's not see, it's not on there yet for you to what I call activate it yet. Click somewhere in the, so maybe to activate. Uh, click, okay, click insert. Click the insert tab. Uh, go to those three dots, because we want to say add in. See, it's not saying not let me mm -mm. click on the slide click on the slide just click somewhere on that slide click insert again it's, not, it's not letting you do it. go back to those three dots again click on it okay go to add ins We're going to see. I guess we got to do everything like we did Word. <clears throat> you would think with our pop -up. Yep, click right there. Click Add. I guess we have to do this for both. <clears throat> Hope it's going to let us do the same code. <clears throat> Okay, go down there to Jazz for active for office. And you did the benchmark yesterday. You already did the benchmark because you didn't listen. Never mind. Don't know what I see. You're by yourself, and I can't group you with the other ones. I'm not gonna I'm you just gonna be in that one group by yourself. I'm not fooling with it right now until later. I'm gonna see if let's scroll out. Yeah, for this one too. 
Yes, because PowerPoint, you know, you have to do them separately. PowerPoint and benchmark, I mean, PowerPoint and Word are separate. So scroll down. We're going to see the same code works. So, all right, hit get started. Hmm. You know, with this one, you know you can fly this going to fly on by. Okay, type in this code. Type in capital S. Four C, four C, uh, four seven F D. You know what? You know what? Let me put you back. No, why? Hold on. Uh oh, hold on. I'm gonna put you in there by yourself, like you were. So, uh, type in S capital S one, S one capital okay. D, capital D. Seven capital D dash zero nine two F dash zero two two one and hit join. He can see you, and you know what to do from here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Do me uh do me a favor. Quit presenting. Go ahead and do the benchmark. You know what you do with it. Okay, everybody else, let me see. Don't y'all be dismayed. It just takes a long time to get this done because it is done differently. Okay, so I need somebody to everybody's gonna pay attention. Hopefully, who wants to share their screen real quick? And William, William, share your screen with me. Cause I'm gonna put you in another um class. I, I somehow you got hooked up the second period. You should be in fourth period. So uh, William, if you will share your screen with me, everybody should be in office.com. Hopefully you have the icons. Everybody who is logged in to office.com, do you have the Word, PowerPoint, Excel icons on the left side, like what William has? Does everybody have that? If you don't have the icons on the left like that and you logged in with your school email address, I am asking you to log off and log in with your personal email. Once you log in with your personal email, then you should have those icons on the left. Is there anybody on here right now who is already set up, has done the benchmark, but they did it with their personal email address? Did anybody do that? Culture, did you get in with your regular school email address? Uh, yeah, I signed up with my school email. Okay, and I saw your school. You did really good. So you've already done the benchmark. Um, have you started with the lessons? Uh, I haven't started yet, but I'll start. Uh, if you days. want to go ahead and start the lessons, because one, um, I'm it's probably gonna give you trouble. You'll probably get the first half of it right. The second half is only gonna say you got fifty percent. And I won't um, miss um, weeks to help you because me and her worked on it um, yesterday for a little bit. We was here uh, working on it. So if you will, go ahead and start the lessons and let's see how far you get. If anybody else on here has already taken the benchmark, go ahead and begin your lessons. And y'all can, if you're doing that, turn your cameras off and mute yourself and go to work. Okay, William, do me a favor. Click on the word icon, everybody. You should be here. Does everybody have the icons up? If you don't, I'll work with y'all one-on-one. If you do have the icons, you click the word. Click on the new blank document for me, William. Miss Hargrave, what's not working? The, the PowerPoint thing wasn't saying. It said some um this add-in is about to create a new document in your default folder on your current cloud respiratory. And it's not working. Hold it, hold it. Send a screenshot that for me. And if you want to go back in, but you know you do have it now, I mean you might have to work on it thing. Go back in and go ahead and work on your word. And then me and you may have to see if we can get in contact with Keith. Maybe you, uh, we can call him in a little bit, me and you. Okay. okay. I don't so like the word document. Huh? 
I don't like the word thing. And I haven't took the, the test or whatever you call it, the benchmark. Okay. So, Elijah, you are already in and you're where the part where it's asking you to take the benchmark. Now, okay. I'm like, I'm where it says, like, um, it says good afternoon, but I don't got no word thing on the side of my screen, on the left side of my screen. You just got like an orange house. It's just like a like one little icon looks like a house. It's yes, like orange. Okay. You have the same issue. So what I add when you have that, log out. And then I want you to log in with your personal email address. So do your personal email address and your personal email password. So use your personal email and it should pop up. And then when it does, hit me back. Okay, so William, you hit hit the insert button at the top. Everybody, if you are here, click the insert button. Once you click the insert button, it should pop up on your far right. It should say add ins. I don't know why it's not doing it. Click those three dots. Click on add ins. If you are here, and it doesn't matter if it doesn't come up, I will help you right here. Um, yeah, William. Click on that, and it should pop up for you to add. Hit the add button. We're going to do Word for right now. We're having um, hiccups with PowerPoint, so y'all work in Word as as much as possible. I want Word done. I would like Word done by the end of the month, if not before. Okay, now you're going to go back, William, to the far right and click on those three dots. Everybody, if you're here, click on those three dots. Click on Jasper Active. For office. If you're not, I will go over with you one on one. Okay, now, William, it should come up in a minute. You'll know what to hit. Okay, so you've taken a benchmark, and I think it's still in the other lesson. Okay. All right, William. I'm going to see if I can link you. Go ahead, William. You've already done the benchmark. William, you can go ahead and, and begin the lessons. So you go ahead and begin the lessons. You can uh, quit presenting, and you can turn your camera off and go to work. And I will get everybody else. Uh, I've got to link you in here somehow. Uh, William, send me your email address, please. Okay, Zacharias, you okay? Zacharias, uh, share your screen with me. William, send me your uh, your school email address. Just email it to me because I've got to try to put you in four period. And I see. Uh, okay, so Zacharias, you are now. You should be on the home screen. I know it's gonna pop up in just a minute. I'm sorry, guys. It's just taking. That's a process. It is also a process when we are here in class getting everybody set up. So now it's even more of a process. It should pop up in just a minute. You should have a home screen. Go, um, Zacharias, do me a favor. Click on where it says Microsoft Office Home, that tab. Okay. Click on your right side. Elijah, did you get logged in with your personal email? I just got logged in. I think it's loading now. Okay, and it's okay. I know I know things are so so y'all. Okay. Isaac, are you where we at? Jason, um, Victoria, Coulter, um, they they Quan, Emily. Okay, so we're gonna have to get y'all where y'all need to be. Okay, go back to uh Zacharias at Microsoft Home Office right there. Click on that tab again. Okay, click where it says go on the left side. You see Word, click on that Word icon. Okay, click on new blank document. And Zacharias, when you get a chance, email me your personal email. Okay, so I would have that and I know that that is you. Okay, when it pops up, go back to that Word document. Uh, it's going to pop up in just a couple seconds. At the top, click insert. Click far right, click add ins. Go to the far right, far right, click add ins. Okay, now click store up top. See the store up top? 
Click that. Okay, now in the search bar, I want you to type in Jasper Active. And William, I see your email. Type in Jasper Active, J-A-S-P-E-R-A-C-T-I-V-E. Not saying you can't spell. I'm just so used to spelling it out. You're okay, sweetie. Don't think hard of me. I tell all my students the same thing. Okay, type in active all together. Jasper active is one word. And then hit enter. All right, click the blue add button to the right. All right, click the I agree with all terms and conditions and hit continue. Okay. All right, go to the far right. Okay, click right here. Click that little X and take that text box off. Okay. Now click the far right, those three dots at the end. Okay, go to all the way to the bottom where it says Jasper Active for Office. Click that. Okay, and then it should come up a little thing. Scroll all the way down. That little box there, click Get Started. Type in your uh, uh, email address that you use to log in. So that was your personal email. And then um, type in your password and hit log in. Okay. Everybody else, if you have those icons on the left, make sure you click on the word icon. When it opens up, click on new word, a new blank document. And then type in whatever your um, password was. And then hit log in. <laughs> type in your um, email address again. Just like you typed it in to get in. Let me check my email. Student just sent something. Is okay. Is tomorrow up school? And if it still won't let you in, uh, scroll down some. And I think it would give you the option of choosing to log in. Log in with Google and see what happens. Log in with Google. Now, click right there and see if you can remember your, okay, now type that you're a learner student. Okay, now I need you to type in whatever your username. Type in, I guess type in your username for school. And I'll see how it pops up. We're going to have to. It's just crazy, y'all. Go back and put your dot in at the Z A C A. So you're missing your dot. Okay, everybody else, if you are at where well, you chose a new blank document, after you type in a new blank doc document and it opens up, click the insert button at the top. Once you click the insert button at the top. At the far right, you should see a word, something at the far right, and it should say add-ins. If you see the add-ins, click it. Or if there are three dots there, click that, and it should drop down. You should be able to 
click on add ends. My um my uh key things are not working. That's one. Your key things are not working. Yeah, okay. I can't put the dot or the, the little. Uh, is it a school um computer or your personal computer? It's a school computer. Okay, email. You're gonna have to email Mr. Hudson, P. Hudson, and tell tell him you need to get another computer. Okay. Uh, and let me see his and tell him. I mean, you can come just about any time. Uh, tell him you need to get another computer. I just send his email, and once you do that, I will get you started. No worries, you're gonna be just fine, okay? Okay, okay, you can stop presenting for me, please. Okay, um, Isaac, do you need assistance? Yeah, okay, will you share your screen with me, Isaac? All right, well, how do I do that? Go to the very bottom and it should say present now. And then I think it asks you is it tab or window? Do a window, I think. I always get confused. That's it. And I am here. Let me look at an email Miss Weeks just sent me. The add is about to create a new document in your device on your current. And did you did you uh, return when you when you got that message? Did you hit yes? No, um, I don't get notifications or anything, so I barely even check my Gmail. Okay, all right. So watch this. Are we in going in the office? Go to office.com for me. You you're already on office.com. Uh, Victoria, <laughs> when you got that message, did you type yes? Did you click on yes? Yes, ma'am. And what happened? Um, it wouldn't let me. Um, the thing wouldn't show up. Like it would bring me to another screen, and then it wouldn't let, let me like do nothing. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Now. Cállate. Okay. Okay. And um, Isaac, you logged in with your school email, right? So what I would like for you to do is um, log out and log back in with your personal email because sometimes it won't work with the school email. Why? I don't know. And let me... Oh, what did she say? And a report application. Return, we're gonna go back in in just a minute because you should be able to we should be able to go around something we're gonna see. All right, so okay. Uh, you already sign in, sign in, remain signed in with this account. Okay, hit the X up there. All right, go to your far right. Hit, hit, hit that guided so it'll go off to. Click on your guided. 
click right there. You got it. And take that off. Uh-uh, uh-uh, don't log out. Don't log out. Click on right here where it says set uh, your te blue text box. Go Okay. Go back to the Microsoft. Okay. Go right there. You see that blue box? Say, click that so it take it off. Click on that box. Okay. Now go to Word. Click on Word. Click on open, uh, New Black Document. Okay. When it opens up, pops up at the top, click on the insert tab. When the insert tab um, becomes active so that you can click on it. Okay, click on insert. Give it just a couple seconds. Click on the far right. It says add ins. Click that. When it opens up, hit the store at the top. Hit the, the no, click the other one. It, it really don't matter, but I just prefer hitting that one. Okay, now click in the text box. Type Jasper Active. J -A -S -P -E -R, J-A-S-P-E-R, Active. All one word. It's all one word. Okay, hit enter. Click the blue add button. Click I agree. Hit continue. Now go to the far right. Okay, yeah, click uh click that text in the X and take that text box out. Yep. Now go to the far right, click those three dots, the far right. Okay, go all the way to the bottom. Jasper Active for Office. Go all the way to the bottom. Keep going right there. Okay, when that box opens up. Okay, scroll down. Click on Get Started. Once the, uh, that opens up, it may ask you for, uh, me, she say, uh, like, you want to know your username, email, put your username, email. If it comes up, it does not rec uh, recognize, then we're going to log in with Google. Uh, Victoria, do you have a couple minutes to hold on? Yes, ma'am. Okay, because I think we may we gonna see if we can work out getting into Word. Because he was saying earlier that you shouldn't have to hit the add in button anymore. So we are gonna see. We may just have to open up something. We gotta see why it's not coming up like it's supposed to. Okay, um, Isaac, what's it asking you now, hun? Isaac, what's it asking me? I can't hear you. What? Okay, what what is what is it asking you now? Um it's Okay. Well well I don't know, it said to um log in with the username. Okay, and did you key in the username? No, I got no username. Okay, your username is same thing a lot of times, guys, and I want y'all to know. When it says username, username can also be your email address. So whatever email you logged in with, do it, put that there in the email. If it comes up that it doesn't recognize it, we're going to do it a different way. Yes, yeah, so always remember that, guys. Here on now, your username can be your email address. It doesn't just have to be, you know, what does it say? And then you may have to fill out where it says region or, or uh, country, something like that. It shows a couple more things for you to fill out. And then on cat on comment. Maybe. Hey, <laughs> there. Is it Michael? Yes. Oh. Nice. No, it's not. Yes, it is. For real? Say hi. Hi. Hello. Who, who is that? 
My brother. Hey, how are you? Good. <laughs> All right. All right, tell me what's showing up right now. Hello. Uh, Hello. I got a register. Huh? I'm registering because it, it, it doesn't let me sign in with both emails. Okay, I tell you what. Lo scroll down a little bit further, and it should say log in with Google. Do you see that box that says log in with Google? Yeah, I did that, but it won't let me. Okay, when you when it says log in with Google, did it not pop up your email address? Um, yeah, but then it's, um, like it, it said an error, or like it wouldn't let me. And it just got like a red text box. Okay, share your screen with me again, and go back to that tab because I think you missed something. All right then. Cause all I'm seeing right now is just okay. Now go to that tab. Click on that tab. Wherever your tab is, click that tab. And click that. Get started again. Yeah, I got these two. So you can, yes, uh, it, yeah. You can, um, Zell, Zell. Yeah, that's my brother. Hmm. It's a process, y'all. I'll tell you, this ain't crazy. Is it working now? Uh, I still have time to register. So. Okay. Uh, stop presenting for a moment. Give me a few minutes and I'm gonna come back to you. Okay, so just be patient. Just be patient. Um, Israel, um, where are you at now? Tell me where you at. My brother? Uh, no, Israel. I'm here. I'm at that same part where, um, Isaac is at. Okay, so, um, is asking, okay, share your screen with me and let me see. Because sometimes we have to either reset our password or something is out with what we logged in with. So let's see, guys. Cause it's something about y'all gonna have to. Okay, now, all right. Do me this favor. Scroll down some and see where it says log in with Google. Click that box. All right. Just hold on. It's coming. Click right there. Hold on. Say learner, student. See, Isaac, that's what I want you to hit. All right, now you've got to go down. What is your username? What's your email? Is that your email address? Right there, click that email address in where it says username. Type it in. Yeah. Yeah. You got to put that dot in there, don't you? No. Period, where y'all want to call it. Okay. He's not letting me put in that period. Oh, Lord. What? You say you have problems, right, with your period. Is it just because it should let you put that in there? Or you may be able to click on it and click on it and it should paste it in that box for you. All right, where are we at now? I see somebody clicking something. Okay. Go back to the Word document before that, the Word tab. Let me see what that one says. It's the same one. Okay, go back to the other one. Go back to the other one. Click Get Started Again. Tell me something. How did you log in? When you first logged in, did you log in with your email, your personal? Or your school? When you With, went, um, school email, pretty sure. Okay. And try it again. And you can't put that period in there. 
Okay. Oh, what's that rock somebody? Because you got there to put that, unless they're going to let you highlight and copy. Okay. Go to uh, log in with Google. Right there. Right. Type in learning student. All right, now, right there, see if it lets you copy and paste the I, your username. It's in gray. Copy it and then paste it up there. Nope. Type it in. I don't know why I want to cheat. Oh my fucking god! Just okay. All right. There is some... now. Have you had this issue before? I don't know why I want to let you type that in. Okay. Let's go back. Exit out right there. Hit the exit button. Type get started one more time. Now I want you to key in your username uh, up there. Key in your username, your school e uh, username. See if we'll let you hit that dot. Yep, let you hit that dot. Okay. Hit it. Okay. Now type in your password. Well, Right. Log in, hit log in. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, easier. I'm gonna come back to you in just a little bit, love bug. Try it again. Um, I tell you what, try it. You may have to reset your password. So what I want you to do is you can uh because I know um log off, then log back in again and do your um email. I mean reset your password and then Hit me back up and we can lo I'll log back on with you and we'll see where you're at, okay? Yeah. All right, stop presenting. Thank you so much. Elijah, where are you at? Uh, William, um, I think that you are probably, William, are you on the lessons part? You can go ahead and go if you want to. And if you need me, just email me, okay? Coulter, the same for you. If y'all need me, just email me, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Victoria, if you have somewhere to go, I want you to go. You don't have to stay. But if you're okay with hanging on a little bit, okay. Elijah, show me where you're at right now. Okay. Um, Marcos, also, um, did you get logged in? Where are you at, Marcos? I'm in the part where uh, I need help to do in Jasper Active. Okay, have you done a bit? Have you, uh, do you see, uh, are you set up yet? Where it's yes, I'm already set up with my personal uh, email. Okay, okay, okay. If you touch the email on the left, once you get logged in, do you see the icons on the left? Yes, and you yeah. click on docs, right? Yeah, you see, um, do you have the icons up like Elijah has on his screen? Yeah. Okay, click on the Word document. Okay. Once you click on the Word document, it should open up like Elijah has. Click on New Blank Document, Isaac. Elijah. Sorry. Click on New Blank Document, uh, Marcos. All right. If you're there. Okay. Once it comes up, okay. it'll, it'll pop up in a minute. Just let it do what it do. Just relax. Click on the Insert button. Once you click on the insert button, go to the far right, click on the add in. Oh, okay. Then click store at the top. Click store at the top. In the search uh, box, click in the search box, type Jasper Active. All one word. The A S P R A C T I V E. Do that again. Uh, J A S P E R P E R A C is all together. A C T 
I-V-E. Hit enter. Click the add button right there. Adjust office. Uh, now click the agree. Click continue. Click that text box. Click the X right there. Okay. Hit it off. Go to the far right. You see those three dots? Keep going. Right there. Go all the way to the bottom where it says Jasper Active for Office. Click that. Okay, scroll down. Click Get Started. Okay, Elijah, is it doing anything? Because right now it's frozen on this. It's starting. Um, yes. It says the username or email. Okay, so key in your username that you use to log in. If it was your personal email address, key in your whole personal email address. Then key in your password for your person. Then Marcos. However, if you use a school email, type in your school email. Or if you use a personal, you use the personal. That wasn't my credit card. Oh, um, yes, I agree. Yes, I'm stuck in this one part. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try to help you in a minute. Are you doing word? You doing word? Uh huh. Okay, I'm gonna try to come to you. Just give me a second. <laughs> this thing crazy. I didn't check on the phone time. Okay, Marcos, what you need, sweetie? Right now, I'm just uh, registering. Say it again. Right now, I'm just registering on the Jasper Active. Okay, okay. Um, Ezeel, um, did you get anything worked out? Invalid email. Okay. I register with my email. Okay. Elijah, what you say? It says my stuff is invalid. Uh it's it's uh do me a favor. Um scroll down. Do you see where it says log in with Google? See a box that says log in with Google. Yes, ma'am. Uh, click on that, log in with Google. But that brings up my school email, not my personal email. Okay. Now, what's it showing? When is it showing when uh, your school email pop up? Yes, ma'am. Okay, click on it, and then type in your password. Let's see what uh, it says. Create a Jasper for after profile. We keep your prof um, personal information. Learn, learn a student. Yeah, learn a student. Okay. Right. okay. Oh, go to Elijah. Go to um, because I think. Um, go to the tab that says office, that orange right beside the word, I think. Because I think I'm on the wrong. I'm still on. Click on the tab before that. Because I'm on I'm on the tab. Only thing I can see is where you hit get started and it's frozen on the get started. So go to the tab before that and see if it will open up. Do you see this? Mm -mm. Stop presenting and then present again. Okay, and then go back to whatever tab you're on. Let me see, because it's not showing. Isiel, what's yours saying? Okay. Oh. It went away, the little Jasper it thing. It's crazy. I'm saying it's crazy. It didn't oh. get... Go, go back. To... Okay. You got it? Yeah, it was on that. didn't went away. Go back to that again. Go back to that other window. Can you see? Okay. Yes. Now key in your email. Okay. Log in with Google. Let's try this. Okay. Hit learn a student. All right. And type in your username that you use, which is your email. Type in your email. My email. Yeah. Username. Email? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Whatever you use to log in. Did you log in with your school email or your personal? I logged into Jasper with my school, and I logged in with the other thing with my personal. 
Mm, try your school and see if it works. Try the school email first. The school email right here, though. Huh? The school email right under it. I know. I don't know why it won't, and it won't. It won't uh, carry over. Go ahead and see if it's okay. See if it bypass it. It's crazy. Go uh, hit English. Let's see what works because it might bypass it. Stuff's so oh. crazy. Got a lot of practice. Uh, North. And see, once you do this, you should be able to hit the G plus button, uh, which stands for Google, and just go in and log in. What what am I looking for right here? United States. Keep uh, going. Keep uh, going. Keep going. Keep right there. Right there. Okay. Oh, I can do. Either one. Which one you think I should do? School or? Uh, type in your school. Type in your school. We're going to see what happens. Okay. Now, pick one of those avatars. They want you to pick one of them avatars. Why? I don't know. I guess it just. Who knows? I hit and a group call. Take that 27295 out. 27292. Oh, I'm just taking it all the way out. You don't need that number in there. Um, I think you did that when you chose your email. Hit next step. They said, I can't go next step. Create. Create an account with email. I did. You did create an account. Fill in the okay, it, it's the one you to fill in. That, um, key in your school email address up top. You see right there where, where it said username? Username yeah. can be your full email address. So type in your school email address. This is your full Elijah.bobo0244. Your last name, Bobo. I bet. What did I asked you this a long time ago? Was it Fred Bobo? Fred. No, I don't know them. What? I don't let me put a dot. I can't put a dot right there. Like, my dot is not. Somebody else said, and it's not you. It's not you. It's not you. It's not you. It just. Hello. Type in your. Type in your. Um, I tell you what, dude. Type in your personal email address. Type in your personal email address. Let me. I'm gonna just put that and see if that works. Go ahead and put the whole. You gotta put the at whatever. Okay. Because um, that's what a lot of students don't realize when you when you begin to create create other accounts, whether it be a bank account or whatever. Sometimes your username will be your email address. And uh, it's sometimes let put, ain't let me put the what you call it. The uh, ain't let me put I still at ain't make, let me put the at button either. So what is going on here? Hey, 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 hey. Hit the back button again, Elijah. It's not you, sweetie. It's just somebody just sitting. There. Hit that back button up there that says back. Oh, this. Hit that. Hit that. Learn. Student learn. It still want us to put that Elijah dot. Let me just put like a regular thing. Let's try that. English in the United States. All right, bet. And did you do at Gmail? Are you at Gmail? Okay, okay. Maybe it's gonna let us get past it. Okay, hit those boxes. I hope so. Mercy, mercy, mercy. This ain't crazy. Hit next step. I think we're getting there. Let's get started. I don't know why it has us go through all this trouble. Okay, all right. Key this code in for me. Oh, hold on. Okay, Elijah, key in capital. Um, oh, 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 Type in capital S four seven. Uh huh. Capital F, capital D. Uh huh. Dash. Dash like this. Yeah. Seven. Seven. Capital D as in David. Capital D. Nine. Nine. Capital F. Capital F. Dash. Zero two two one. All right, enter. To join. Okay. Hit continue. All right. All right. 
Now, you see where it's got benchmark? Keep scrolling down. Scroll down some more. Is that all? It's on the keep going. Keep going. That's it. Okay. Now, all right. So keep uh I, what I want you to do today, take the benchmark. When you click on benchmark and hit start, it starts clocking. It's gonna give you 30 minutes to take it. Don't worry about your score. Uh, once you do that, I want you to begin the lesson. So you work on the lessons whenever you have free time, but you need to get it in as much as possible. Yes, and that's how you're going to do the Microsoft Word. We will come back to PowerPoint later. But okay. work on Word. So make sure you do the benchmark before midnight tonight. Okay. All, All right. right. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, I'm about to go to practice. All right. Bye-bye. Right. Okay. So, uh, Izzy Elb, um... Tell me where you are at right now. Gabriel, where are you at? Cassidy. Is he out? Did it let you get in? Is it final five percent? Yes. Okay. I am so sorry you're having these issues. I think we're gonna do like Elijah did uh when we get to that username password. Elijah just typed in Elijah Bobo and uh, some numbers. Mm, I'm at this part. Okay, that's what it was. Okay, so don't do the study group code. Click your avatar and hit, hit next step. I don't think it's letting me click on it. Go back. Uh, go back up for a minute. Let me see. Is it, uh, is okay, right there where it has a username. Type in 7497. And it shouldn't be in, but we're just gonna see if we can this okay. Now language preference. You gotta do your language prep. That's probably what it was. Okay, and hit next step. Okay. All right, now scroll down, click all those boxes, all four boxes. Go back to up to that agree. Uh scroll down all the way down to the end of that uh now. And it should that you hit it. Okay, hit next step. Okay, hit, let's get started. And then, what is that? Hit G plus. Activation code. Okay, type in, type in this code. Type in capital S. Okay. Four, seven. Capital F, capital D, dash, seven, nine, I mean, excuse me, seven, capital D, nine, F as in Frank, dash, zero, two, two, one. And hit continue and see what happens. I don't know why that took you to this to that. Hmm. Hit your G plus. Hit your G plus. Okay. Hit your back arrow. Because it didn't take... This is how we used to do when we were on desktop. I don't know why it's happening. Go back up and click on that tab that says Word Document before Jasper Active. Wait, wait, oh, this one? Yeah, click right there. Okay. Type that code in again. Type in capital... Capital S, the number four, the number seven, the letter capital F, capital D, dash, seven, capital D, nine, capital F, dash, zero, two, two, one. Hit join. Hit continue. Now, you see benchmark. Benchmark is that what you will need to do. And it, like I said, when you hit start, it'll time it. It gives you 30 minutes to take it. After you're done, don't worry about the score. I'm going to give you a score for doing it. I want you to immediately go into the lessons. So you are in Microsoft Jasper Active Word. We'll figure out work, uh, PowerPoint later. So you know how to get into it. And I think once you log in, you probably can just hit that G plus, okay?
So you're good to go now. Say who? <laughs> I'll see you later. All right, thank you, man. All right, thank you. Bye bye. Cassidy and Gabriel, where y'all guys at? Y'all been so patient, Victoria. Cassidy and Gabriel, y'all still there? Or y'all done fell asleep? No, I'm still here. I'm still here. Okay, share your screen, Gabriel. Tell me where you at, sweet pea. Okay, go to. Oh, are you doing a document? Did you do the benchmark already? So, you mean a thing? You're doing a, a lesson, aren't you? Yes. Are you understanding it? No, I'm over trying to figure it out. Okay. I'm still on number three. Okay. I may have Victoria, Victoria, you and um, you may help have to help Gabriel. But let me go back, go back to what says word document. Where are your instructions at? Because I don't see the instruction. Okay. So um, did you do number one? Yes. Did you do number two? Mm -hmm. What number are you on now? Three. Okay, so what it's saying, I'm gonna read and you're gonna do. It says scroll through the document so you can see how a paragraph mark, which are those things there, was entered between each person's information. Keep mm -hmm. scrolling down. Yeah, uh, uh, keep uh, let me see the directions. Let me see number scroll on down. Now, go back, go back up. Uh, okay, three. What's that? The three. Okay, now you want to find the information for Andrew McSweeney, but you are not sure which page the information instead of scrolling up and down in the document, use the find. Uh, wait a minute, use the find feature. Okay, scroll down some more so I can keep reading on the home tab. Go to your home tab. You see your home tab? Mm -hmm. Click the uh, click the home tab and then click the find. Click the find button. Where's that find button at? What, what, what find button? I don't see no I don't know the way it's saying. Let me see. Uh, that's the search button. Uh, take your cursor, and I want you to move right here. You see where that A is? You see where the magnifying glass is? Keep going. Keep oh, going. Right here. What? Is that the find button? Mm -hmm. Let's say reuse. Go back. Go back. Okay, click the find button. See there, that's how you have to do your scar. Now, what do the instructions say? Cause the instructions are gone now. Yeah, well, uh... Um, Victoria, when you have okay, uh, click that. I'm telling you, you know what you need to do. Take a picture of that, Gable, because a lot of times when you click on it, it'll take the uh the directions out. Mm -hmm. maybe let you, maybe it let you see what you need to do. If not, take a picture of it with your phone. Mm -hmm. So finish taking a picture of the directions with your phone. Because I'm going to help you do this real quick. Don't you, you'll be okay. Me, you, Victoria, we're going to all tag team. We're going to get this done. Honestly, when I did this one, like when I was on that part, uh, I was just like, um, I think I tried to do it, but I couldn't really get it. So I just was like, oh, well, so I, I kind of like skipped over it. And then I did the rest of it that I could understand. And it said I got it right. It said you got it right with us. All right. Okay. Um uh Gabriel, did you uh screenshot the directions? Yes. Okay. All right. So now what I let me let me let me screenshot the directions too because I need to help you. Uh go on, go down some okay, okay, right there. Hold on. Scroll down some more. Scroll down some more. Wait a minute. Scroll down some more. Hold on. Scroll down some more. 
That's it. That's it. That's all it is. Okay. All right. So now we're going to go to, you already hit the find button. Now in that search button, go hit the, hit the find button. Type Andrew, all lowercase, A N D R E W, A N D R E W, R E W, R E W. Okay, hit enter. Now hold on. World now displays a preview. Hold on. Let me go to the next. Okay, click the corresponds. Okay, now it says. Click the occurrence below the search view. Uh, click the occurrence to switch to the jazz right the Click the scan button. Click the document with the occurrence turned on. It is to turn off the gray light. Click the occurrence below the search field. Okay, click the occurrence below the search field. Type in the Andrew thing. Ty uh, click in the Andrew. Where the Andrew button come up? See with a great right here. Click there. Just click it. All right, now, uh, go to the document. You see over there in the gray? Mm -hmm. Work keeps okay. Okay, now keep click in the document where the currents is to turn off the gray highlight. Now we'll stay right there. Now when it says words gonna keep keep that Andrew in yellow, so leave it like that. To remove the search criteria, click the X at the end of the search criteria. Okay, uh, click the X right there. Click it. Now stay right there, don't you move. To remove the search, I click the X at the end of the search. Okay, now type. Now what, we, okay, now change the search to, to find where Nick. Go up there, hit that find button again. Type in Nick, capital N. I want you to do a capital N, I C K, and hit enter. Now, watch this. Don't do that. It says, Notice how word ignores any casing, uppercase, and use it and fill. It says, You search any occurrence of the search. Tab. Okay, now, what it wants you to do is hit this uh, right there by search, hit that X, close it out. All right, now hit submit. Hit finish. Mm. Okay, we are going to go back. Do, do not worry about that, okay? Mm. Um, Victoria, when do you have time to help with uh, work with Gabriel? Um, when do he have time? When do you have time, Gabriel? I have any time. Any, I, don't, I don't got nothing to do right now. Okay. Uh, Victoria may want to take a break. You need to take a break. Um, yeah, I need to. Yes, because you need to, you sound and say it, don't sound sad. Okay. <laughs> what I want y'all to do, it don't have to be today, it could be tomorrow. It could be, Gabriel, uh, I need you to email Victoria. Victoria, put your email address in the chat. And I appreciate you being so helpful. I want you to email, uh, Gabriel, you're going to email Victoria and ask her, say, do you have time to help me on this? And she's going to, y'all going to, um, I need can y'all set up a Google? Y'all need to set up a Google Meet. Let's look at it. Um let me I'ma send both of y'all an invite. When y'all I run it through. I oh gosh. You know what? If y'all want to, both of y'all got the um y'all don't I don't have to be on here. Y'all just log back on to the school to our class, uh Google Meet. Once Gabriel, you email Victoria, ask her. Say hello. This is Gabriel. Do you have time to help me? She's going to say yes, or she's going to say no. If she says no, then she hopefully will give you another time when she's available. And then both of y'all will jump back on our class Google Meet, okay? Mm -hmm. And then y'all just let me know that y'all were on here, okay? Mm -hmm. So Gabriel, you go and take your break. I think you're getting frustrated. Don't get frustrated. This is just how this is, okay? All right. You will get used to it. Thank you. And um, Gabriel, she put her email address up there, so copy it, okay? Okay. All right, log off, and I will talk to you later. And stop presenting. Thank you. Okay, Victoria, do me a favor. Um, share your screen. Okay. Because Keith says, who is an IT person, says that 
You shouldn't have to hit the add in. He said, just check the steps are the same for property to get set up. A question. If so, the, if so, the steps are the same, but once adjustment at the add ins uploaded, it's available. Okay, so go back to, you, sh, you probably don't have to hit add in. It's saying that you have to hit add in. Go back to the home. Okay, right there. Okay. You already took the benchmark. So that's the benchmark. Right here. You see it popped up? Huh. Don't do it now. Don't do it now. Tell me something. Yeah, I tried to. Um... So tell me, watch it, watch it. Did did you have to go and hit the add in? Go to that store. Did you have to go to the store for the PowerPoint? Um no, it was um like in a little okay, so you know the side thing right here. Hold on, where is it? Show me go. Okay, so when you when you went to power right here, okay, when you clicked on that, what happened? The new blank presentation. And, okay. um, yeah. Okay. I clicked on that. Okay. And then like um and then that popped up. I tried to hit the start button and it said that I had to do something. Yeah. I did okay. it two hit, times. Hit the start button. What do you say? I don't know what that thing is. No crazy. Hit the start button again. Because you ever you gonna be my okay, okay. This ad is about to create a new message from Addy. Hit no, hit no, and see what happens with no. All right, hit start now. Okay. Hit yes. Hit yes. Don't don't do it. We're gonna see what happens. Uh, Brandon, do we need don't do anything? We're gonna see what pops up. I don't know. Maybe yeah, this pop up the last time. Uh, this what popped up the last time. Scroll down. Does it do anything? Scroll, does it let you scroll? Uh, it's Thank not letting me do nothing right now. Waiting for Doc. Hold on. This way, so we're gonna see. Okay, it's coming up. Did this come up? Did this part come up? Which part? The the presentation. Go back to the presentation. Um, that's, that's the part. Okay, go to the second. Yeah, slide. the presentation popped up. But go to the second slide. The second what? Go to the second number two. The second slide. Click on number two. A brand is a title. The grants are the brands can go. Okay, go to three. Go to number three. Where does the brand come from? Go to four. The ten must be anywhere. Keep scrolling down. Keep scrolling down. I want to see why I did that pop up. It's got to show. Go to five. Go to five. I'm, I'm waiting on what it should be showing us. This is changing things. Scroll all the way down. Scroll all the way down. Go to the last slide. Let's see. Let me see. Click on the last slide. I did. It's loaded. Which I don't think it's gonna be. It should be. We got. We got to figure out what's going on. For me, and because it's not even the camera on the side or telling me what to do. Go back to the tab that says presentation one, PPT. Time there. In this benchmark, you apply your right skills. Uh, no, I'm just reading to create an information presentation about scroll. See what it's giving you where it says instructions. Click on it. Keep going. You will be creating a presentation with nine slides, including. Yeah. Including animations and transitions, smart art, a table, images, and text. Keep going. This 
Keep going. This uh, smart art. Uh-oh, keep going. Go back up. Keep go back up. This smart technology. This assessment will analyze the space to develop assessment with um uh, to develop this Once you click the start, once you click, don't hit nothing yet. Keep scrolling. Once you start the benchmark, please turn on the single line ribbon option. Single line ribbon option. We're gonna see what that is. Accept the defaults in all the cases under unless otherwise but okay no the benchmark can only be taken once scroll down some more no the benchmark can only be taken once we take it must be reset. okay go back up it says hit the the, the ribbon about like that ribbon we got about that ribbon the single line okay what i want you to do is take your cursor and move it move it go go from see those three dots mm -hmm. click on those three dots i want to see something I probably won't do that now. It won't do that now because you need to start button. Single ribbon. Okay, go to the next. Go to the next one. The side of it. It looks like a, a power slide to the left. The one to the left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what is it? Move your cursor. Move your cursor over there to see what you're looking for. That single ribbon. What did it say? A single ribbon. Okay, that's the thing. A uh, single ribbon, single ribbon. It must, it might be in designs. Or, go back up to the instructions. Click out there, so we go back to the instructions. Okay. I want to see what the single line. Go back up where it asks you to do something. Let me, let me Google that. Okay. So watch this. What? Uh, go back up. Go back. Oh. Okay. Once you start, please turn on the single line. Hold on. Single line ribbon. Oh. So what that means, uh, okay. I'm going to share my screen. So, so you stop okay. it and let me share my screen. We're going to try our best to find out what this is. I'm doing some Googling, so I'm looking. We're going to see what it is. Single line ribbon. So this is what it says. So it says, a set of four ribbons for Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and none are intended to show the major features that Microsoft thinks are relevant. The student tools look like ribbon tabs. So we're going to look. A single, let's see what, if it's going to show us. And if that's going to help you. We're going to see. We're going to keep looking until we find what we got to find. So, I, I'm assuming now this is in Word. We don't want Word. We want PowerPoint. So, hold on. That's Microsoft. Oh, okay. Ribbons. What, what are ribbons in? Uh, the ribbon is a strip of labels. It's PowerPoint calls tabs. They run across the top. Okay, from the ribbon, okay, so let's look and see what it looks like. We got to know what it looks like because I didn't see, and it may be hidden in that thing. Home tab. The home tab contains options to change the font and size. We know that. Insert as where is the ribbon. Let's see where the ribbon is. Hold on. Transitions handles from one end. We want to find a ribbon. Let's, let's show us the ribbon. Why is it taking us up through all this? Hold on. Because we're going to find this. Okay. Using the ribbon. Here's an example of how to work with the ribbon. If you want to do something about the design, okay, go to design to see sections that run across the ribbon that change the presentation. Side. So we. I guess it is. When you click on it, do you see anything about design? I think there was an option to say design up there. Go go back to that benchmark. We're going to try, and if I can reset it, I will reset the benchmark. We're going to try it right now. I want to see. Go into where, oh, let me stop sharing. Go back, uh, present your, power, present your um, thing where it has a um, benchmark.
I hope I, I hope I ain't getting on your nerves too much, sweetie. Nah, you not. You know me and you, me and you, the our partners. We have to work through things. <laughs> <laughs> so tomorrow, what I want you to do is I will um, get the class together, and I want you to show them how. The first thing we're gonna do is show them how to open up, get to PowerPoint, because they need to go ahead and activate PowerPoint, like. Because I want y'all to work it. If you do 30 minutes today in um, Word, if you can do 30 minutes in PowerPoint the same day, or you do one day, you know, switch it up. But I want both of them done kind of, you know. So they have to know how to open up, how to activate PowerPoint. So me and you have kind of been through it, so you know how to do it. All right, so what I want you to do is now, if you notice, you see that design button? So hopefully that design button will say something about single ribbon. Uh -huh. You know what? I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you. Hold on. I'm going to see. Can you like take a picture of it? You, do you see that design tab up there? Uh-uh. Right at the top. Not home. Let home? me see. Yeah. You see home? Keep going. Mm -hmm. Go to your right. You see design. Oh, right here. Click on design. Just click on it. Does it open up? Oh, it's trying to. And it's just something about a single ribbon. Go to that. You see, keep keep going. Keep going. Do you see the arrow? You see the arrow at, at the end? That drop down box. Drop down arrow. No, mm -hmm. keep going. Keep going. Keep going to your right. To your right. All the way to your right. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You see that drop? Hit that button right there. Hit that button. Hit that. Hit that drop down. It says switch ribbon. I wonder what a single ribbon is. That was it. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. All right. So let me go back up. I'm gonna keep reading because that's the ribbon. But what is a single ribbon? I need to see. Let me go and see what it looks like. That's what I need to find out. Hold up. Let me see if I can do images and see if it'll come up. Single ribbons. And it's just where we are at. Single ribbon. What does single ribbon line ribbon mean? Okay, single line ribbon shows most the most used commands in a single line. For example, the classic ribbon has buttons for both new email. Okay, so out of support. It's got to show us. Go back up where you are at. Go back up to that PowerPoint. Go back up to that. Right here? Uh-huh. So stay right there. Hit that. You see where the arrow has now turned up? Turn it back down. Mm -hmm. Go back and turn it back down for me. Okay. Switch ribbons. And maybe, I want to use it. Let me see. Single ribbon. I'm see here. I'm trying to see how does it look. Let me see if I can see a video. Maybe okay, the new look, okay. Outlook some by ribbon, visual, how to do a ribbon, what's a single line ribbon? Getting start with PowerPoint, quick access, PowerPoint environment. Including the ribbon. Let's see something. Okay. Stop presenting for a minute. We're going to see if this video will show us in that. I'm going to present my screen. I'm going to do. Oh. You want me to um, stop presenting? You, know what? you okay? Stay right there. I think once I do this, it's going. 
Okay, we're going to see. This is getting started with PowerPoint. We're going to see if it works. I wanted to show me how to do about the ribbon. But let me see PowerPoint. We're going to see. I'm going to see if I can fast forward it through it. Google Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life. PowerPoint. This is an easy-to-use program that lets you design your own presentations. You can use it to create slideshows, presentations for work, multimedia projects, and just about anything else you can imagine. When you open PowerPoint, there's a good chance you'll be taken to the Start screen first. From here, you can access recent presentations or create something new, either from scratch or from one of the built-in themes. In this example, we'll click Blank Presentation. Next, you might want to take a minute to explore the interface and make sure you know your way around. Why don't we begin with the ribbon, which is the collection of tools and features at the top of the screen. The ribbon is divided into tabs like Design, Insert, and Home, so you can easily find what you're looking for. There are also commands on each tab that have been organized into groups. For example, if you look closely at the font group, you'll find it has everything you need to work with text, including options like bold, italics, font color, and size. Some groups even have an arrow in the bottom right corner that you can click to view even more commands. If you ever feel like the ribbon is taking up too much space, you can always hide or minimize it. All you have to do is click the arrow in the upper right corner, then choose the option you want. Also in the upper right corner is a place where you can access your Microsoft account. Here you can update your photo, manage your account settings, or switch to a different account altogether. For help working with PowerPoint, take a look at the Tell Me feature. It works just like a regular search bar, allowing you to quickly find the right tool or command. All you have to do is enter what you want, and you'll be given a list of options. You can use the command directly from the menu without having to find it on the ribbon. You can even customize your copy of PowerPoint to make certain commands more convenient. Take the Quick Access toolbar in the upper left corner. This area gives you access to frequently used commands like Save and Undo no matter where you are in the ribbon. To add more commands, just click the tiny arrow next to the toolbar, then choose the ones you want. I'm going to add new and also quick print because I use both of these commands pretty frequently. Now let's take a look at the presentation itself. In this example, I've opened a business profile that I'm working on. You can navigate between different slides using the pane on the left, while the space in the center is where you'll actually create and edit your presentation. At the top and to the left of the center pane, you should see two small rulers. These make it easier to adjust your presentation and align the objects on your slide. To show or hide the rulers, go to the View tab, then check or uncheck the box depending on your preferences. You can also turn on grid lines and guides for even more control over your slide layout. In the bottom right corner, you'll find a few more tools that let you change the way your presentation is displayed. Here's what the tools look like up close. To zoom in or out, click and drag the zoom control. The number next to the slider will tell you what the zoom percentage is. You can also switch between different slide views using these four buttons. Normal is selected by default. This mode is great for everyday tasks like creating and editing slides. Slide sorter displays smaller versions of the slides in your presentation. Reading View hides all the editing tools to make your slides easier to review. And finally, Play Slideshow will play your slides as an actual presentation. Last but not least, I'd like to give you a quick tour of the Backstage View. You can get there by clicking the File tab. Just look for it on the far left of the ribbon. Here you can access all kinds of information related to your current presentation and more. This includes commands like New, open, save, and print. 
All you have to do is click an item in the left pane, and it'll open on the right. This makes it easy to find what you're looking for and review your options all in one place. That covers the basics of PowerPoint. Now that you're comfortable with the interface, including the backstage view, the ribbon, and the work area, you're ready to start your first presentation. Okay, I could not hear it once I turned it down, but it looks like, it looks like, um, it, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I couldn't hear once I turned the volume down. It looks like that the ribbon, you, is, you can either go to design, once you go to design, or the other ribbon, um, I forgot about that, that was on the PowerPoint, um, that ribbon uh, button. Go back to your, go back to your, um, where you were presenting, and let me see something. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm on here now. Okay, because it looks like... Can you see it? Yeah. Um, it looks like... Make it bigger if you can. Right here? Uh, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Make it smaller, make it smaller. I'm trying to see. Go up here in the middle. We can expand it. Right there, but it's in the middle of the X. The button in the middle of the X. Yeah. Right see what, here? Yeah. See what it does there. Makes it smaller. Okay. Because there is a ribbon button, but evidently it's not activated. So I'm thinking the only thing that you can do is go to design and you have to um, do the single layer. Um, hit hit the up arrow again on that and see how it looks. Switch ribbons. Go to ribbon. It looks like I wonder why. Okay, see the drop down. Okay, switch the ribbon again. Let me look at something. Okay. Hmm. I'm guessing that it's already on the single thing, on the single line ribbon option. I'm trying to see. I'm guessing it's already, but that's what it said, single, single, and I hit this earlier, ribbon option. What is a single on PowerPoint? I already said it. Okay, two, three, three, okay. And it keeps. So I don't think I, I can say try it. Um, I think it's already on there. That's the word. Let me go back and look at it again. PowerPoint. PowerPoint is going on the student tools, but it doesn't say single line. Let me see. That's not helping. You supply my response over there. What a ribbon. I'm just trying to, by the river, you can access everything for you. You don't have to have it. So it's going to be used. Just do, I'm going to take, go ahead and try it. And then once you get it, that's, that should be, that is one of the ways you can get into the river. Just a single, how does a single call the file mean? Let me look at something. One more thing, then I'm gonna let you go. Mm -hmm. uh, the ribbon. So have the problem has a, has a single menu called the file menu. There's also a single custom option called quick at this. All the other commands are found in various tabs of the ribbon within the interface. The ribbon in PowerPoint 2019 has several tabs, each named as you see in figure one. Um, we can collapse the ribbon. If you want 
more screen to stay for a while. You control plus one. Ribbon cut. This one says go to home insert design. Shape format. Shape styles. Dialog launcher. What I want you to do, don't worry about it because I, I know that's what it is, but it's still not what I want. It's just the benchmark because you know once you get to the other stuff, it'll help you and me and you're going to be there together. We'll work it out together. So just okay. do the benchmark um, and that way um, you, you can have it out the way. And then tomorrow, show, um, you'll be able to show the class what to do. And hopefully, um, Gabriel will uh, inbox you so you can help Gabriel. And if you don't have time, all you have to do is say, um, can we